Here is the Shamana of Thuleta, preparing to use the frequency of tobacco, smoke, and aquaflora in a cleansing ceremony. She will use these frequencies to balance subtle human frequencies. The fastest way to absorb healing energy is through the skin and lungs. The shamans use mists and oils to impart these frequencies to counterbalance physical and or emotional imbalances that create disease. Shamanic purifications do not wash away impurities as much as they balance misaligned frequencies so they once again hum as they should. Often they mix essential oils with alcohol to balance subtle levels of human frequency. They deliver the frequency with an explosive mist, spitting the essential oil through a flame. I'm going to tell you my personal experience I had with a shaman that I found in Iluman, a small town close to Otavalo, Ecuador. Um, first of all, he's going to tell you to uh, clean your face with something. I don't remember what it was, but he tells you to clean your face. And then after that, he lights up a candle and he stares into it. He, he stares into the candle and basically he can see inside you. He can see what you feel and what you think. After that, he told me to take off my clothes and I got to keep my underwear on. And uh, yeah, you don't have to take off your underwear, just your clothing. And um, then he stood behind me and he rubbed an egg on my head. He didn't break the egg or anything, it's just the egg, he, he rubbed it on my head really, really fast. And, uh, and the rubbing of the egg is basically, you know, absor absorbing the negative energy. It's the egg absorbs the negative energy from your body. And then he whacked me with a plant called Ortiga. Uh, this plant, um, when when he hit when he hits you with this plant, if it burns too much, if it really itches really badly, that means you have a disease. And if it doesn't itch, it means you don't have a, a disease that you're okay. And um, basically, after that, he um, blew smoke um, all over my body from my face to my toes. He did my back as well. He blew smoke all over me. And then they, and that is for um, cleaning. It's kind of like, it, it's a cleansing. He's blowing positive energy all over your body and um, passing positive energy onto you. And that's what I understood. The shamans of Ecuador are most likely are going to spit on you. Um, they take these essential oils or alcohol, it smells like perfume, and they spit it all over your body, and that's, um, they are, it's like a purification, they're cleansing your body with these things. And the next thing is the, the fire. They take the, they take, uh, they put alcohol in their mouth, and they spit it out, um, they have the candle in front of them and they spit it towards the candle and it creates a huge flame um, they, they blow the flame towards you and, uh, and it felt kind of scary for me I didn't but um, yeah it's uh, you know flame going towards you and that's about it um, I think it's another form of um, cleansing your body uh, you know, negative energy, and uh, after that, he's gonna he's gonna tell you that he, he's gonna sit back down and he's gonna look at the candle again. He's gonna stare into the candle, and then he's gonna tell you uh, while he stares at this candle, he's gonna tell you all the plants and all the plants that you need to buy. He told me to buy Ortiga, uh, Uña de Gato, 
and some Amazonian plants, uh, some coastern plants as well. He told me to buy a lot of roses. I had to take a bath in roses. And the rest of the plants, I had to uh, make tea out of them and drink them. Um, some of the some of the teas uh, some of the plants the teas I had to drink them um, like every other day or some teas I had to drink them only on Tuesdays and some teas I had to drink a lot of it just a whole bottle of it I had to finish it in a day and um, stuff like that and you cook it in a pot and you cook these teas in a in a big pot and um, you serve yourself you know a cup of tea and um, that's about it. Um, well, thank you very much for listening um, about my shaman experience.